Well, Hillary Clinton isn't having any free run to the nomination. Bernie Sanders is favored tomorrow in Kentucky and Oregon, but it won't change the inevitable. Clinton is only 144 delegates short of clinching the nomination. Here's Nancy Cordes. It's time people stop listening to Republican propaganda. In Kentucky, Clinton blasted the GOP and its likely nominee, trying out her Trump impression on jobs. His answer is, I'm going to create them. They're going to be great. I know how to do it, but I'm not telling you what it is I'm going to do. She did not do her best Bernie Sanders, though he's the one who could beat her in two states tomorrow and is already laying the groundwork in Puerto Rico. The people of the United States cannot continue a colonial-type relationship with the people of Puerto Rico. Clinton can afford to lose a few more states, but she can't afford discord like this. Over the weekend, diehard Sanders supporters disrupted Nevada's Democratic Convention, protesting the delegate rules and booing speakers. We need civility in the Democratic Party. It's a sign Democrats are going to have some of their own struggles with unity, recognizing that Clinton is going to be tied up with these primaries for a while. The biggest super PAC supporting her announced today, Scott, that they would begin airing ads against Donald Trump this week, nearly a month earlier than they had planned. Nancy Cordes for us tonight. Thank you, Nancy.